crafty. Did you know that March is National Craft Month? Denise Wilde is here to walk us through some great crafts. You do this all the time. It doesn't matter what month it is. It doesn't matter, but this is an extra special month yes. where everybody should be crafting uh, all the time. Yes. Okay, I'm still <laughs> trying to get the crafting bug. But okay, when, so I I see, great when I ideas. see projects like this, I think, you know, and how easy uh, is so much of this stuff. It takes a little bit of creativity and not a ton of money, which is great. Yes. So you did sort of tabletop things. You tabletop things, you take regular objects that you have, and all of a sudden you have these objets. If you yes. add a little bit of paint. I did everything with spray paint, so it was super easy. And as you were saying, very inexpensive. Nice. So let's start with these creative book ends. Uh, this is a little happy giraffe who is now has now become a book holder or bookends. That's cute. Uh, and all I did was I took a toy giraffe from the toy store, yep. gave him a little saw in half. Yeah. And then don't some... let your kids see you doing that part. <laughs> I know. I had They'll to be hide traumatized. From my I really thought that. <laughs> Actually, it started with a knife and then went with scissors. But, um, and then just uh, little crates, and I spray painted them. So I made it kind of a tone on tone. You could do contrasting colors. Mm. You could do them all the same color. Mm -hmm. And I thought with this one too with the little shark you could saw this guy in half yep. and then put him on either end of this little crate here and then you have a little basket to hold objects you know so either cool. in, a, in a spare bedroom spare bathroom something yes. like that. Yes I love that I just like the color palette you use there as well Thank like periwinkle is one of my favorites. I know this is perfect That's you nice. know good good for this time of year. Gorgeous okay let's talk about uh, this project here. These yes. Beautiful so butterflies. These, are butter these butterflies I got from the dollar store mm -hmm. and they're just little things like this, I took some gold spray paint, just spray oh, painted nice. them out. So there, are they little lights? Like batteries? these ones are lights, but okay. I ended up taking the light off them. I know it's so pretty. It's I was going to leave it like that, but I wasn't sure how it would look after the spray paint. So yeah. I just took the backing off, sprayed them gold, and mm -hmm. then took pieces of wood and glued them on. This is just with a hot glue gun, put everything on top, spray it out. Yeah. And you know, you could get a little box and do kind of a shadow box effect, put Ooh, something nice. inside. You could get larger bugs. So it's kind of your little, uh, little taxidermy. I just thought this is, you know, a really great way to add yeah. add some decor into your room and neat. Nobody else has it. That is very cute. You personalize yeah. it, make it your own. You can make this box, put your remote controls in, inside, <laughs> right? And then somebody opens it bit. up and surprise, there's a little surprise. gold cockroach in there. <laughs> <laughs> Yum. Okay, I want to take a look at the before shot of this lamp before you see the after because you can see the huge transformation. Huge, yes. Where yes. did you find the lamp? So this was a vintage lamp. I found it just at a, um, like a thrift store. Yeah. And it just needed some life. It needed a bit of refreshing. So there's a new pink top yeah. with a little pom-pom detail. And I took these play balls that we have kicking around uh, and just glued them on. So all around the lamp, glued them on. I found these little stars too, uh, three-dimensional stars. These are actually little ice cubes. So smart. Uh, and then just glued everything on. And then with some spray paint, spray painted them on. You could take any objects, little toys, little trinkets, you know, seashells if you're decorating a spare room, yeah. uh, anything you want. Just take some paint and next thing you know everything's good as new. There's just something so like bubbly and squishy right. about this. I love it. Like, it's so, it plays out so balls. well in a nursery or a kid's yes. room. I think that's really lovely. Yeah and just really fun. Again you can go tone on tone. You yes. can do contrasting colors. Whatever you want. Very cute. And then this one. Another then, lamp project. How did so you do that? Lamp. This is actually done with lace. So this is okay. a beautiful black lace that I took. I wrapped it around the lampshade. Yeah. Sprayed it out. And then because the paint goes through in certain sections and not through other others mm. then you have this great detail on here and because it's Pretty. a textured lamp already it kind of the paint seeped in a little bit to give it more um, more feeling and uh, uh, you know, more dimension. Yeah, yeah, on yeah. There. That's nice. It looks like a silk screen. That's really exactly. pretty. Exactly. So you know, look for look for a great contemporary lace, not your grandma's lace. You want yeah. it to look nice and modern. Mm -hmm. And then I also took some painters tape and just wrapped it around the base of the lamp. And again, this is just done with spray paint. So very easy project to do. Inexpensive. You don't have to have a lot of skills. Yes. You know, you just. Uh, whip stuff together and you Use make these beautiful things. Very nice. And go shop the dollar store. That's exactly. always fun, right? Exactly.